Hello and welcome to a video which of course you guys knew was coming and there have been some other methods out on YouTube for earning cash. This method is aiming to not just be one race that you can do over and over again, but I want this video to be a comprehensive way of getting literally dozens of cars and millions of credits and completing the game at the same time all within one video for everything from seasoned people in the game to absolute beginners. So I'm gonna try and condense it down as much as I can while still giving you all the pertinent information. So first things first, when you start the game, play along with what the game wants you to do, the little tutorials and all that nonsense, until you get this, the license center. As soon as you can get into that license center, do so. Because as you can see, you've got five different levels, B, A, International B, International A, and Super. Now I've done a separate video on all 10 of the free cars that you can win by accomplishing all gold on this. But don't worry, even if you're not fast enough to get golds or even silvers, you can still win five cars just by completing the bronze, which is arguably a pretty easy thing to do. Now, if you do get all bronze, spoiler alert for the cars you win, National B gets you a Clio RS, National A gets you a Scirocco R, International B gets you the Group 4 Supra race car, which you just saw in my garage, that's a great prize. International A all bronze gets you another Toyota, the 86 Rally car, which is a very good prize. And if you want to go even further up to the S license, again, all bronze, you don't even need silver or gold, you literally get an Audi R8 GT3 car, the LMS. I would say that one's well worth it just for the sake of having it, but you don't necessarily need that for this. Now, as I said, I did a video about all the prizes, and again, spoiler alert, if you get all gold on this license alone, the Super, which for beginners might be more difficult, of course, but you win a Red Bull, incidentally, so a pretty massive prize on that one. Work your way through at least up to the inter International B level at this stage. The International A with the rally car will come in later on. So once you've got that International B and you've won yourself the nice super race car, come back out to the main menu and then work through the cafe missions as the game wants you to. As soon as you reach only the third level, the third menu book, so super low in the game, come over to the world circuits as soon as you can and then go over to, I believe, it's the Asian region, where you've got high speed ring up here. You unlock that on book three. Now, if you jump into this section and then go to the GT Cup right here, which this has been talked about as well on YouTube already, but in a just standalone money earning video, this race gets you 65 grand, as you can see, except it actually gets you 100 grand, or just under, if you do it clean. Now, for those who are new to the game, doing a race clean is totally different in this game to in GT Sport. All you need to do is not hit the other cars. You can slam into the wall as much as you want and you'll still get a clean bonus, which I think they might change in a future update, but at least for now, we can do that. That race takes about six or seven minutes and you can use the exact Supra that you just won from that license. You can even tune it up just a little bit, but I mean, barely at all, it's 629 points and you can only enter up to 630. So I would recommend trying to win with a stock version if you can. So if you do that, you're literally on the third menu of the game, you've got a few licenses and now you are already earning 800,000 credits an hour over that in fact, just for that event. So even for absolute beginners, that is by far the quickest and easiest way of earning huge money very quick. But it doesn't stop there. Because the thing is, I would actually recommend you don't spend that money. Instead of that, come back out to the menu once you've done that a couple of times and you know got your footing and earned some cash, and enter the cafe again. Because the thing is, as you progress through the game, even though the credits are woefully lacking for most of the races, you do get a ton of cars. And as you work through the cafe, there are a lot of cars that you don't have to buy, such as the three car collector's missions. Usually, if not in every occasion, you can win all three of the required collection cars in those world circuits. So just by playing through the game up to the maximum level of 39 in the cafe, not the driver's level 39, but just the cafe missions 39, you'll get a ton of cars. And I only found there to be one stage where I even needed to buy one. And that was for one of the later ones, which was a Ferrari collector. Apart from that, you basically get given the cars that you need. So you don't even need to spend that cash. 
Now, once you progress a little bit further, you're already earning huge money at this point, so that's kind of where the absolute beginner portion of this video ends. Now, as soon as you unlock the next stage of Car Victories, which is the Missions section, and once again, there'll be an icon at the top of the screen here in the top right where you can see all of the Victory cars here. If you get all bronze, just like the licenses, you will win a car for every one of these. If you get all gold, you'll also win another car. Now for this one, you do have to level up a bit more to unlock them all, but I would recommend doing any of these as soon as you can. Even if you just get the all bronze, you get some pretty nice cars. The two, I would say, best cars are both for getting all golds. And if I recall correctly, I think it's for Gone with the Wind, where you get the F1500 Formula One car. And of course, the sun also rises, where if you get all gold, you win the Chaparral 2J. So pretty awesome prizes if you can get that far. But even if you get the bronze, that's another six free cars that you don't have to buy. So once again, that's the mission challenge. You do earn cash for that as well, but more importantly, you get the cars. And then, as you progress more through these cafe missions, as I said, stick at it, keep doing them, none of them really take that long, you can win, as I said, all of the cars you need anyway, then come back to the world circuits, once you get up around mission, or not mission, I should say cafe book, about, I think, 36 or 37 or so, wherein you will have an event in the American section called Fisherman's Ranch. Any of you, of course, will remember this as a dirt track in GT Sport. It's one of the longer ones, I believe the longest dirt track, if I recall. And as you can see, I actually haven't done this one, but the principle is basically exactly the same as this one here. That one's one lap, this one's two laps. That one lap takes half as much time as doing the Group 4 event from earlier for absolute beginners. You earn the same money, though. So instead of 800 grand an hour, this one pays out over 1.7 million an hour. So that is by far the most efficient, not the easiest, but the most efficient way of earning money in the game. The easiest way of getting money is probably the other method with the Group 4 Supra. But here's where my advice from earlier on comes right back into play. You don't even need to buy a rally car. All you need is to use the rally car that you won for your license, and there's no performance point limit. So as long as it has dirt, uh, dirt tires, you can tune it up as much as you want, that Toyota 86 rally car. So the game very clearly, just like the older games, structures these little hidden strategies in there for you to find, which is great. It's just kind of odd to me that you end up earning far less money in a game that's more about collecting cars than we did in GT Sport where money is next to useless and yet it throws it at you, which is a bit weird because this method barely even comes close to Blue Moon Bay racing in GT Sport. But overall, that's pretty much it for my recommendation. So I'm pretty happy with how condensed this video has been. And as I said, this caters to both pros and beginners. For pros, this is what you should be aiming for. Every three to four minutes, you get in a hundred grand on a clean event. For the other one, you get it, as I said, for level three, you win the Supra that you need even for bronzes, and anything else on top of that is just a bonus. You will naturally win a ton of cars as you work through career mode and do the various championships that they ask you to do. The championships also pay out very well. As far as I go, I tend to just buy a lot of cars anyway, which is why my money isn't that high, and I haven't honestly started grinding that much myself yet, although I definitely will be. So. That's my recommendation for the best strategy of going from day one, scratch, up until now in this game. So I hope that those of you who needed this method, maybe from day one, but maybe just you've already completed the game and didn't notice how good the rally event was, I hope that this benefits you. Of course, stick around on the channel. I do a ton of other GT7 content, speed tunes, there's going to be drag and drift tunes, other money earning methods in the future, no doubt, when we get new updates. And of course, stuff like car reviews, etc., that I always do. But until next time, I'll see you then. And as always, thanks for watching.